Countdown.net, pad is clear. 10, 9, 8, Launch auto sequence 7, has started. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go for launch. Vehicle is 
supersonic. Stage separation confirmed. Dragon, separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing lights have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. Good morning. You're looking at a live view of the Falcon 9 rocket at Space Launch Complex 4 East in Vandenberg Space Force Station, California. It's been less than 11 days since our last launch out of Pad 4E, and today's launch will be the second of four planned Starlink polar launches scheduled to lift off from Vandenberg in the month ahead, with the next one scheduled to occur in about two weeks. As you may have noticed, the launch cadence at Vandenberg has significantly increased in order to support our ever-growing launch manifest. And as you can see, uh, it's rather rainy and cloudy at the pad today, but these weather conditions don't currently violate any of our launch criteria, so we are good to go for launch. We're currently tracking no major issues. The range is green and ready to support liftoff in just under three minutes and 20 seconds from now. In preparation for liftoff, we're standing by for TE retraction. At this point in time, the clamp arms below the fairing have already opened. Stage one, locks load is complete. You just heard the call out there that stage one locks load has finished, meaning Falcon 9's first stage, also called the booster, is now fully loaded with RP-1 and liquid oxygen, or locks. Second stage will finish its locks load in under a minute from now. The view of the pad itself was pretty cloudy, as you can see there in the lower right-hand corner of your screen. But we do have a clear view of the area surrounding the pad at Vandenberg Space Force Base. Our launch pad is located just over that ridge there. Falcon 9 is now fully loaded with 1 million pounds of RP-1 fuel and liquid oxygen. Today marks the fourth flight for this first stage, also called the booster. As I mentioned before, today's mission is for Starlink. We'll be sending another... Uh, we'll Falcon 9 is in startup. We'll be sending an additional 46 satellites into low Earth orbit. LD is go for launch. As you may have just heard there, our countdown has been put on hold. We're currently checking in with the teams. Stay tuned for more information.
Sure, sir. CN Countdown, be advised. We declared a script today on Whiskey 2313. 24-hour recycle. As you just heard momentarily ago, we have a hold for today and we will recycle in 24 hours and proceed to our backup launch date. Um, we heard that hold on the countdown at T minus 46 seconds. Uh, keep in mind that the purpose of the countdown is to help us catch potential issues prior to flight. There are a thousand ways a launch can go wrong and only one way that it can go right. Given that, we are overly cautious on the ground and if the team or the vehicle sees anything that looks even slightly off, they'll stop the countdown as we saw today. The vehicle and the payload are in good health and the team gave it their best effort to um, recycle within the window but not in the cards for today. Again, the vehicle and the payload are in good health but this will end our launch attempt for today. Okay, the next launch opportunity is tomorrow at the same time, 10.39 a.m. Pacific. Hopefully you'll join us. Thanks for joining us today and we'll see you next time.